news and uh, our first video is um, it's pretty incredible actually. I kind of read the title and was like, no, no. And it's um, Unbelievable Kid Does a Kick Shot. I don't know, is that like a little... Well, from watching this video, I've learned that it's that thing, like when you shoot a hoop basically. And um, yeah, so we've got this like little kid and I was like, oh God, kids on the internet cute whatever but yeah it's really good so there's this like little boy and um he can just sort of shoot a hoop that's all it is for four minutes but um yeah they like putting him through like trials and tribulations and whatever so there's like his siblings and whatever trying to distract him but he can like just shoot a hoop it doesn't matter so say now if he was here he could probably like throw his ball through the window and into next door neighbor's like basketball hoop it's crazy so like he's Five years old, maybe a little bit younger, I don't really know with children, I'm going to say three. So he's just three years old and just like in an adult's like basketball like arena and he's just like shooting it. And he's like only like this small as well and he's just getting it right up into like probably about nine million times his height, just getting it in there. And secondly, we have got um, something on Ellen, I don't know what Ellen is, I think it's like some sort of American thing. Ellen looks like Annie Lennox basically and um, I think she's got like a talk show thing. And um, there's a girl called Amy and she sent out to randomly like Dulux or whatever, like a hardware store in America. And um, she has to communicate with random people using the lyrics from Taylor Swift, I'm going to say. It's the... You know that one. Well, basically, um, she has to talk to people using only those lyrics. Um, sounds... I can imagine them in the boardroom thinking, yeah, this is a really good idea. We're gonna send Amy out today to the hardware store. So Amy is being watched out on CCTV camera or whatever, hidden cameras, and she's just sort of like hanging out at the colour swatches and just sort of like, I don't know, it's not funny, I don't get it. It's like, they, the people just wanna buy the paint and she's just like approaching them and just sort of saying this, so she's like, we are never getting back together. And it's like, don't get it, it's not funny, I'm bored. And um, there's this scene where this like poor guy, like she convinces him that they were in a relationship, and he's like, he just he just wants his paint. Basically, he's like, what's your favorite color? And she's like, is it, is it blue? And she's like, we're never getting back together. And it's like, I don't know. She convinces this poor guy that they're together and that he doesn't know her, but he feels sorry for her. And it's just really like pff, Annie Lennox, make more funny, just make it funny because it's not. Um, thirdly. If that's a word. Um, there's another baby on the internet. <laughs> I don't know, I love children, but it's like there's just kids on the internet all the time. But um, this is actually really sweet. So it's called um, Fast Asleep Until Her Favourite Song Comes On. So basically, the little baby's like in her car seat or whatever and she's just snoozing. And then, oh, the worst song on the, in the world created by the internet comes on, you know, Gangnam Style. And then she just starts like moving her like little arms and legs and it's just really like, I don't know, like her little brother or sister, I don't know what sex this child is, it's just like giggling away and this little baby's like, nee, 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 nee. it's really, I really enjoy it. And um, fourth and finally, uh, we've got something called RH9, Rhythm of the Factory. I, I didn't know it either. And so, um, they've like made machinery sexy. So for about two minutes, it's like that sort of thing where they're like doing like extravagant things. So basically they twist a spanner and it's like really slow, like it's really sort of done in a sort of sexy way. And it's like, oh my God, what are they making? Like there's like loads of bits, like a sewing machine and like they've got fire and whatever. That's for two minutes. And you like, I, I assume the initial idea was like, oh yeah, we'll build like, we'll build the suspense. I was bored. I was bored after a minute. I was just like, come on, I just want to see what you're making. Like not in a happy way or whatever, but I was just like, Ugh. four minutes. And then you um, finally at three minutes find out, yay, it's a car. And um, yeah, and then it's like got this weird sort of, it's been photographed, but it's like this sort of weird sort of sensual sort of thing. And yeah, I don't really get it. Do people find cars sexy? Is, it, is a car sexy? I don't know, like it's kind of like guys call cars like girls or whatever, it's a bit weird. But yeah, it's sort of a sexy car and I think it's sponsored by Red Bull or something like that. But um, yeah, that's it. But please like, like and share and whatever. You've got the buttons. I don't know where they are. I'm gonna say that. But yeah, I've been Emily and uh, thank you. Bye.